Hi, I'm Jan Wenzel, Chief Productivity Guru at Life Contained. I'm going to show you how to customize your Outlook toolbar. When I observe my clients clicking multiple times to complete the same task over and over again in Outlook, I help them customize their toolbar to make routine tasks quicker and easier. You can do it too. Let me show you how. Get over to Outlook to get started. So let's say you get a lot of spam. Instead of clicking action, junk mail, add sender to blocked senders list, we can add that button to your toolbar so it's one click. So the way that we're going to do that is we'll click out of here altogether. So we'll go up into the toolbar area and just right click over any of these buttons. And you'll be given the choice at the very bottom of customizing. So select that. And from here you want to move over to the tab commands. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the command because we found it within the actions menu. We'll go down and click actions. So we're going to begin to look for that button that we were using within the action category. So we're going to move down and as you can see you can customize your toolbar to put any of these actions front and center. But we were looking in particular for add sender to block senders list. And so once you find the button that you want, you click it and drag it up into the toolbar. And you'll see right now, as I'm dragging, it has an X. And that's basically telling me that I cannot put the button down where my cursor is at the moment. But you'll see when I get up into this area, now I'm beginning to get a plus sign, and so I'm able to drop this button. And so you want to think about where you want to place the button. And I don't, I'm not going to use this all that often, so I'm going to put it here on the end. And so now you'll find Add Sender to Block Senders List as a button at the top. But that is one that kind of takes up a lot of room. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is modify this button so that it takes up less room. And you can either do that by right-clicking the button itself or going back here to this box and clicking Modify Selection. And so you can modify and make it an image. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the name and I'm going to modify the name just so that it's not so many letters taking up so much space. And so I'm just going to call it spam because that's how I refer to it anyway. And I'll click out of that modification and you can see the button has already been modified to that. And now I'm ready to close my customization. But this is just one example. If you keep repeating these different customizations until you get your top 10 email actions front and center, you'll be cruising in no time. I'm Jan Wenzel. Thanks for tuning in to Life Contained.